Joining me now is Harris's new attorney, Dion Webster Cox. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. All right, so I just want to get this straight. Are, it, are the facts now clear that he did not have a license and was not authorized to drive at the time that he showed up at that virtual hearing? That's very true. He did not have a license and he was not authorized to drive. It was not to be driving. The day he received that ticket, he was that's what the record showed. He was not to be driving and he was driving. So that's what happened. But I'll tell you something. He yeah. is out of jail. He was taken away, he, but they posted the bond for the other court. Now he's out of jail. So that's one thing that's changed. Now, I want to play. This is um, him talking to a reporter on Tuesday before the last hearing. This is a uh, Number five, where again he was asked about the driver's license issue. Do you sure. recall having one? Having a driver's license? I knew I had a permit. I, I knew that. A, a driver's permit, or? I, I believe. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I can't say yes and I can't say no. I mean, look, you know, that probably didn't help him either, right? No, of course, it, it did not help him. But, and I want to tell you something where I want to focus with this. It's a, how do we move forward? And that's what I kept telling the judge. Let's move forward with this. Now he's going, tomorrow he's going to work on his permit, and we'll see what happens. But he wants to be a, a law-abiding citizen. He wants to do the right thing. And honestly, the judge says that he, he did have an accident. He might be suffering from a TBI, a traumatic brain injury, and he just doesn't remember. I don't know. I can't put words into his mouth. The only thing I can tell you is he wants to do better. He wants to do better. I kind of, I have to say, I still feel a little bad for him, Only, primarily because of all the attention that this has gotten, right? I mean, that's mm -hmm. the part about it that, that I feel for. I mean, this is the judge. The judge just went after him. This is number four. person that needed to be blamed is the person that he was staring at in the mirror. He didn't do what he should have done. This judge, I mean, this judge seemed really ticked off. And the judge was. And perhaps, again, I can't get into the judge's mind. I can't get into the prosecutor's mind because they were they came locked and loaded. Both of yeah. them came locked and loaded that day, right? And the only thing I could do was say, he's trying to do better, judge. He wants to do better. That's it. It was a pretrial, so we weren't at a point where we were going to admit any type of guilt or set it for trial. That wasn't the purpose of it. But the judge wanted to set the record straight, which he did. He sat there and said, hey, you've never had a license. So we sort of look at it. My client wants to say something. I say, don't speak. Don't say a word. Just be quiet at this point. And we just have to take it. We had to take that. It was a yeah. spanking, and we took it. We Sounds took like it. he's got a good attorney now. Dion Webster <laughs> Cox, thank you so much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.